Hello, welcome to another uh, academic tutorial. Uh, in the last uh, video, I show you how to find connected papers and also visualize them in the graph. After I posting the video, some um, um, viewers uh, actually recommend another tool called Research Rabbit. And so this is what we are going to cover today. I look into the tool. Uh, it's very useful. It's fantastic. And I hope you will find it useful. So first, next, uh, go to the website. Uh, researchrabbit.ai so you can just type the URL or you can just uh, google it after that um, you need to sign up for an account so uh, I sign up using my edu uh, it says uh, it's, uh, re it's uh, free for uh, research uh, forever so uh, make sure that you sign up using your edu account and then once you sign up uh, log into your account uh, the interface uh, look like something like this so this is what we're going to cover here today showing you how to my papers uh, especially if I need to uh, do some literature review writing a report writing a paper this should be a, a very useful for you because you can quickly identify some of the most relevant papers you can also identify some of the uh, key authors who are publishing on this topic so uh, once you log in I would highly recommend that you uh, on the right here uh, there's a settings button so click uh, upper right corner here and to connect to your uh, Zotero account so Zotero basically is a reference manager uh, because this one uh, the uh, resource grabby helps you to find papers but eventually if you need to write paper you need to cite them and you will need some reference uh, manager so uh, Zotero uh, it, uh, is very useful so for example here once you, uh, you just google for example uh, Zotero.org and then just sign up for an account and then log in you should have some uh, interface like this so by default it should be empty but uh, don't worry about it i'm going to show you how to add papers so next let's go back to the uh, research rabbit uh, app and then so the first step here um, on the left side the first column you can create a collection so uh, you can think about collection as a folder on your computer where you are saving all kind of uh, uh, papers or pdf so you can create one so for example i'm interested in uh, Google Earth Engine, so you can create one. Uh, for example, you can just create a new one, untitled, for example, for example, uh, Earth Engine, uh, whatever you like. And then, so you have one in here, and by default, right now, you can see uh, zero. That means there's no paper. So, and the next step is actually to add paper to the connection. So, for example, uh, I can just click the button, so here, add papers. And from here, you can just type any uh, keywords. For example, I can just type Google Earth Engine, and then just search. Uh, it's asking you which uh, search provider you want you can just use this one all subject uh, areas and then it's going to find all the papers right so for example here uh, you can go through some of those uh, if it says uh, already it is uh, highlighted in uh, green yeah, that means it's already in your library uh, otherwise you can by scroll down for example here um, the vegetation whatever for example look just look at some paper is like and then on the right here simply click uh, add to collection so for example I can just click this one and then it's uh, oh it's already added to my collection so by default it's getting to uh, G because I select this one I add paper so now uh, you see the paper in here so this is how you can add paper so you can add also DOI keywords whatever uh, you can also uh, import from your uh, Zotero collection so if you already have a collection you can also do that as well or upload or um, um, bit a text format if you want so and this is how you add paper so after you add paper this is the most interesting part how to find uh, relevant papers and also uh, visualize them in a network uh, graph so for example they say I want to look at this paper so for example you select uh, the Google search engine paper once it's selected it's going to show you a summary so for example uh, the authors so if you click here uh, three dots uh, it's going to show you all the authors for this specific paper uh, also the journal where it uh, was published and the year also the citation so the number of citations uh, for this specific one is 3392 uh, you can also set the pdf button so if you have access uh, if it is open access you can click um, I noticed this is an error so if I click this one it is actually not this paper so I'm not sure why uh, it's that but for other papers it looks uh, it looks fine so for example if I click the other one uh, it goes to for example this my uh, paper so uh, let's go back to this one here uh, once you find this one uh, you can on the right here uh, this is the magic so you can for example click this one 
similar work uh, that means how many paper are kind of relevant to this one if you click it's going to show you another one so another column and this one lists all the 998 papers uh, you definitely you need to scroll down uh, it's a long list right and on the right here shows you the graph so this is where all the papers are connected because one paper might be citing the other one and you can also see the size kind of size represent uh, the number of citations so uh, basically the more important also uh, blue one means uh, those papers are not in your collection not in your library the green one means they are already in there so you can see how these papers are connected so this you can you can uh, zoom out you can zoom in you can take a look at uh, how those are connected and you can also see the year right and the the, uh, the name of the uh, author the last name of the author right and can you can fit all uh, you can zoom in a little bit for example and then uh, if you want you can download this one as an image so there's a button here low right corner here uh, click this one it's going to download this one to your computer so you can download and then just open right, it's going to show you so uh, make sure that you uh, zoom in so you can see the full view uh, and this is where you can see the graph uh, it's kind of a little uh, low resolution uh, but it's uh, at least uh, something you can visualize interactively right so besides looking at all the uh, papers right now it's a network graph uh, sorted by basically the connectivity but you can also click the timeline so i'm going to click the timeline and it's going to show you kind of the papers so this ready for papers the publication timeline so you will see for example most of those like uh, cluster uh, in the past decade or so right and, and uh, earlier years you have just um, a couple of those and so this might be the paper relevant but they were published before and uh, cited by some of the late um, later papers so we, right and on the right here the uh, again the blue one represent papers not in your library not in your collection so the, the green one represent those are already uh, here and so by default uh, is uh, using the last name uh, uh, the first author uh, using the last name of the first author but sometimes for some uh, discipline the last author might be actually uh, the has the largest contribution so if you want you can click the last author right so if you look at this uh, it changed right so for example gold uh, 2017 it changed to the last author it's more 2017 but uh, for some single author papers for example here uh, it will be the same because uh, I'm um, the first author only the single author for this paper so this is how you can um, visualize uh, the graph so pretty interesting right so you can zoom in you can zoom out uh, the nice thing about this is uh, the reason why it's called research rabbit that means you can trace all the way down so for example right the google's engine paper and then the similar work and the first one here actually is this one um uh, high resolution mapping of global service water uh, published in nature right and once you select on the right here you see another one so this is the the paper right and then you can simulate you can click similar work and then you can click this one and then you can click you can you can trace all the way down so this is just like it's um um it's just like a a, a a circle right you can continue you can all the way down trace the, the source right you can trace where you can click and can click um non-stop right it's uh it's never ending so you can explore to see how you can find some of those connected papers this can be very useful if you're trying to for example write a review paper on a specific topic and you might want to go all the, uh, all the way down right sometimes to find all the relevant papers and this is how you can quickly so once you're done uh you can just simply i can i can close those for example I, if i don't need that i just close all those uh papers and go all the way to for example right now here so i'm going to show you one more time uh how you find the relevant papers and then add to your library right so again similar uh, names and then find the papers you can also find by author right so for example for this paper you have uh, eight authors and besides the similar work um you can also find for example all the references like cited by this specific specific paper right so similarly you can visualize them uh in a graph or all, all the citations uh what kind of papers are citing this one right so all that basically circling um surrounding this uh key paper right uh 2017 published in uh, remote sensing of environments also list authors like eight and this is where you can look at um the author's paper so for example the uh, first author uh a right you can see here you have all the authors and if you click the name 
now on the right here you see for example how many published work and you look at this like two papers right? you can see also how many collaborators uh, that he has uh, it might take some time actually to load up because um, not all of them have information here but if I click this one yeah this one is not showing up but uh, let me try another one so for example I can go back for example to myself uh, paper published in um, uh, remote sensing of in 2019 and on the right here you can see for example similar work how many people are similar right and also um, how many authors in there right and so you can see the network so if I click my name it's going to show you for example publish how many papers uh, 81 I'm not sure that I have that many so some of those might not be right anyway so you can see also the network right the network graph all those papers so publish all those work and how those are actually connected uh, with my author or with my uh, collaborators for example uh, there's so many so uh, because when you write, collaborate with um, uh, other people and other people connect uh, collaborate with other people so eventually uh, you might be all connected by serving on the same paper so this is showing you how you uh, do that and uh, besides you can also show for example by year right as I showed you earlier right these are all the paper for example that I published if I click the timeline it's going to show you for example how many papers that starting from uh, earlier years and then now like um, more papers uh, every year so this is how you can uh, quickly do that and so one uh, one more thing I want to show you right once you find all the papers you can all easily uh, add them to your connection so for example they say I find this one uh, pretty interesting right you can select one so I, I also this one um, this one for example like right? these are the three papers for example I want to look at and you can add them to your library so once you select uh, on the right here take a look at this it's going to show you for example all the connectivity of the papers and then this is what we want to do we want to add them to our library right so right now uh, my library here my collection has four papers so if I add, add to GE and then take a look on the left side here now you see all the papers have been added to uh, your library so this is how you can find papers and add papers to a library you can for example if you want you can select all uh, this might be too many right uh, 50 papers it only shows you 50, uh, 50 papers uh, at once so then you just add to the uh, collection and this is how you can uh, add them uh, uh, pretty quickly and so next I'm going to show you how you can actually sync this one to uh, Zotero so uh, let me uh, select now here right so now my uh, library has this many papers so if you go to for example my uh, uh, Zotero account you click it's automatically synced uh, there might be some duplicates so I might need to uh, remove some of those and I'm not sure I, I don't think right now it has to allow you to uh, find the duplicate but uh, I believe uh, Zotero you can also automatically uh, identify a duplicate so for now this uh, look at this one here uh, long term changes oh, oh this button here at the bottom resync with Zotero so if you click this one it's going to sync the paper and you see one is uh, the green uh, progress bar and then you can come back to here see if it works uh, it's still one duplicate here anyway so this is how you can find uh, all the papers uh, of course you can for example if you want you can select all the papers and then on the right here shows you uh, you can actually download this one as a CSV or as a, a bib text so for example on this one click save and this is simply just a txt file so you can open uh, using a txt file for example here or you can import into uh, any reference uh, library so up to you how you want to use it you can download this one as a csv again and then open the csv this shows you all the list of the uh the papers and so this is how you um add papers to your collection and also uh sync the papers with your zotero uh, account and the last thing i'm going to show you here is to actually how do you share uh your collection or your library uh, to other people and uh, this is pretty useful because uh, um, sometimes if you have one for example you're working with other people you want other people to be able to share and also add papers to it this is kind of similar to uh, like a google photos or like dropbox like anything cloud services that uh, you share the link with someone and then they can also upload the files to um, uh, through the, um, the uh, browser or without even have to have an account and so this is at the bottom here 
for example, public collection. So that means if you if, if you want to set this one as private or public, uh, public that means uh, anyone with the link will be able to access this collection. So take a look at here. Right now, this is a public collection. So if I click copy the shareable uh, link, and then it says copy uh, the link to this collection, and and you can just paste this one anywhere to um to for for anyone. So let me show you here. Open like. A new ignito window and then just control v uh, take a look so this will be the url that you want to send uh, to your collaborators or anyone you want to share this collection so and then just hit enter take a look so now this one is not logged in here right upper right corner here you will see sign up so login that means this is just a, a, um, a web page um, that we now log in and again showing you right the collection so that means you can share the entire collection to anybody and there's also another uh, update here, right? Uh, collaborators or uh, email updates. Uh, you can also allow, for example, uh, if your students or your collaborators also have an account, you can enter the email here and then you can set the permission. So you want them to be able to add paper, you can also um, just set to read only. And just like Google Photos, you can like uh, share a, 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 a collection and then allow people to also add photos to it. Um, you can also, uh, if you want to, for example, uh, Thanks uh, to this category, you can do that as well. Uh, you can um, um, rename the collection. You can also duplicate, to create a new one, or you can delete this one. Uh, you can also send email, for example, uh, invite. Um, uh, once you add a loss, you can just send the invite to your collaborator so that they can see this one. So uh, pretty unique. Uh, I think in a way, it's a lot more information than uh, the previous one I showed you, just showing you the classic papers. Um, but that one, I think the graph that you generated is um, a little bit high resolution, so it's a high quality. But this one, the Research Rabbit, uh, give, uh, gives you a whole lot more functionality, right? So you can source paper, you can add paper, you can find similar work, you can visualize um, uh, in the graph, you can also visualize the author. So you can all the way trace down, for example, if you're interested in a specific uh, resource. So you can just take a look and then uh, you can visualize all of them. You can take a look at all the publications and you can also look at all the um, uh, collaborators. It's pretty responsive. So very quick that you can uh, trace down and to find all the relevant papers for a specific topic that you are interested in, right? And you can export the data. You can resync uh, that with your Zotero account. And from here, you can technology you can whatever, right? So here, um, you can also you can use it to write paper and then you can cite the papers uh, in your document so that you don't have to uh, do that manually so and let me see if i anything else to cover yeah that's pretty much it so uh, uh highly recommend it uh, just sign up for an account and then you can uh test it and you can find your own papers you can find any papers that you want to look at it and you can sort by year you can download the graph so uh, very interesting so oh, oh by the way there's also another one here link content so if you select any papers and then for example you can select anyone and then link content usually is something like um, on the internet that people ask about so let me, let me find this one here for example see, select this one and then link paper a uh, link content uh, and this one was uh, asking for example on uh, stack exchange if you see this one here so somebody actually reference this DOI and it's also being um, um, linked in here. Definitely, I think there are a lot more content, but at least you can see one of those here. Um, you can also see, for example, suggested authors. And this one looks like right now uh, all just the uh, original authors, so it's not a lot of information, but uh, I think this is pretty interesting. Uh, you can go all the way down. So hope you find it uh, useful, and uh, I will see you in the next uh, video. Take care. Bye-bye.